gonna have Mockin and Triple D off stream. I believe that's it. Toon Link against probably Ooh, Marth, yeah. I was thinking Krom, but Marth, yeah. That is HK's number one. Three, two, one, there we go, go. start game one. Sweet D's probably gonna try to keep him out. Marth has a bigger sword than Toon Link, so a lot of Toon Link's uh, coach options are gonna really rely on his items. Playing very passively. Just trying to get his approach, trying to get sweet openings. Big up ease. Reverses it, knocks them off. Quarter misses. He's keeping him out with the bombs. That's really what you gotta do in this matchup. Uh, like I said, yeah, look at that big forward air compared to two moves. Marth has a way bigger sword, even though not all of it is a sweet spot, he still will hit. I'm shocked he went for the up smash there. But the back throw will kill. That up B instead of the up smash would have been a better play, but given he got the back air, fine. Did he bait out with the up air? Maybe he was thinking he was going to go, and then didn't go. And then HK thought that Sweet D was going to be up there. It's a decently commanding lead. Sword Clash. Sweet D playing mostly around the bombs. That's really Toon Link's MO. That's what she have to do. Uh, from Wii U to Ultimate, they actually nerfed his bombs priority. It doesn't really go over a lot of uh, projectiles. I think it's one of the weaker ones in terms of priority. But it does not make it bad. Especially in matchups where they don't have a projectile to hit back like Mark. Toon Link can just camp, and then Marx just has to approach. He doesn't get a swing. Not really a committal swing, but a swing nonetheless. And Toon Link can punish that with a bomb or with a boomerang into forward air or into up air. And with Zare too. Putting a lot of pressure on with the Zare, but HK with the up B out of shield. That is a Mark necessary thing that you have to do. Order whips. That is a confirm. If he was closer or if he ran, he probably would have got it. Sweetie focusing on getting back. I like that delay. HK was expecting the up a little bit earlier. Would have punished him and would have killed him. Uh, I think it would have. Ooh. Ooh. With the tippers, it does kill. Now all of a sudden, HK has to leave. How is Sweet D going to have to play this? Now he's playing defensively. Or offensively, actually. He was playing really defensively for most of the game until now he's down. Back throw makes an even stop count. The tune is down 60%. He still has four minutes to work with. So if he really wants to, he can still play defensively and get success. And that's what he's doing. He's staying pretty grounded. He's just playing, not necessarily defensively, but playing with his projectiles. And if you want to see success, then you have to play him a certain way. Boomerang and supporter does work. So that's something you can do. Uh, that little combo, that, that was something that doesn't work. That is a Toon Link special. Um, punishes the forward smash with a forward smash of his own Toon Link. Sweet D. Game 1 winner. Stay tuned, going into game two. HK stays Marth. 
both options. I agree with. Uh, you really shouldn't change much. That was a pretty good close game. Uh, <clears throat> Mark kind of exploded and took that stock lead. Uh, Sweetie did remain in control, but HK tasting that little glimpse of being up. Uh, maybe now he knows how to go about it. Toonly, and Sweet D in particular, doesn't really swing unless he needs to, which is something that is good. That's something that a character like Toonly thrives off of, because when you have to... How do I want to word this? When you swing a lot, you get punished for it. Uh, whoever swings, if, if, if both players swing a lot, the person that swings second always wins, or should win. But whenever you don't swing, then it's fine. See, that up he was smart, because now he's going to make it back, No, the counter stays out, and he gets killed. I do like what Sweetie is going with. But, but, what was I saying? Swinging second is the way. So if you don't swing at all, then you can be sure to swing second. Got a little watch party watching Proto ban him and uh, Sonic's play right now. Uh, that game, it's one stock to one. Side count. Back throw. The up B makes him bounce off the stage. Now it's an like even stock count. Relatively even. Ooh, up B beats the up tilt? I did not know that was a thing. I knew that up tilt and up tilt wasn't true from zero. That last one he did was, but I didn't know he could up it. Up there. Tries to keep him above him. Nair, that was smart. Just space it correctly. That's perfectly fine because he still has the momentum. Yes, it hits. That was a smart counter. It's time to fall. That was another smart counter. Pushes him away with the wind box down air. Makes him miss space the neutral B. That down air was smart. Back throw. Ooh, does not kill. Thought it would. Is he gonna up the ledge? Is he gonna lay it out? Forward tilt was a good option. Safer one. Both players playing very patiently, actually. Uh, Back throw is not killed, he's not at ledge, and he already did it. Um, I don't think he would have killed anyways. Up he is going to go, Now it's one stock to one. Sweet D still has three and a half minutes to work with. So he can play patient, just like he did last game, and it worked. But HK is looking like he has the momentum right now. Arrow in the face gets punished by up B. Oh. Tooling dies for that. The day is mine. Game three. I wonder if we're gonna see a switch. I personally wouldn't switch anything. If I were both players, I would stay the characters and continue. They go to PS2 though. Yep. Oh, Mark. 
just like the last couple games, same color schemes and everything. Here we go into game three. HK Sweet D. One to one. Big forward smash. He must go to shield like a frame or two too early. Doesn't get the parry. He gets forward smash for it. Pokes him through the shield with the up air. Jabs the shield, gets punished for it. Like I said, uh, both players have the taste of a win. Or er, Sweetie did, now HK does. HK had that taste of a win, took advantage of it in game two. Uh, now it's just a battle of who knows each other more. Who has the download more? When you're going into three games playing each other, the same tricks shouldn't work every single time, unless you mix them up or you present them in a new way. Is that William coming to calm? William's coming to commentate? Alright. One to one. Both got three stocks, both at five percent. That's not William's HK. HK lost game one, but won game two. I know the one thing he does that he said that he's playing against the Sorcha. I was saying with two moves, really all he has to do is just like projectile. Cause like he has a look at his little baby sword. Yeah. And then Marth's big sword, and especially yeah, the tippers too. Cause Marth he hit a down air into forward smash with the tippers and like you just die for that. So you just gotta zone him out. But then they nerfed two links bomb and uh whoop, uh -oh. two to two. Even percents too. Good sets. We like to see this. I don't know if Barn actually has anything to say Or if Sweetie was just late on the up I wonder if Sweetie helps as well. I feel like I wonder if he just pulling it, you know? Yeah, touch my shield. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Hey, when I play Toon Lake, that's what I'll be doing. I'm like, oh, you touch my shield? Oh, and we're at the side of the stage? Oh, yeah. They're both doing a good job pressing each other. I didn't know for it. Ah, what? That is a new lesson. And he gets punished for that. Yeah, he did not tech it. Gets killed for it. Did not know for till reached that low. Maybe it was because of Mark's grab, like like uh, grabbing the ledge. Maybe it was too high. So I, I big down airs. That was clean. Are we playing melee? Fair, fair down air. Ten. <laughs> Ten combos. That's how we. That's, this, 